All right, it's Wednesday, April 7th, and about three and a half miles into the hike. Had my best sleep ever and on the trail last night. Woke up once, and I slept from probably 8.30 until almost six this morning. And it was, it was awesome. Anyway, a little gap, some state highway coming through here. And uh, hiking with uh, Bob, this guy I uh, met yesterday. And a guy named Poppy has joined us. So we're at mile 289.6. All right, didn't see that. And the uh, Cherry Cabin Shelter, 11 and a half miles. That's where I'm going to try to get to today. See how I feel. Another beautiful day. It's going to be warm up around 70, I think. Well, one thing I noticed this morning that I'm not going to say it's a trend yet, but around the camp last night and today, it seemed very much more business-like, less of the, uh, you know, social party atmosphere. Not that that's been dominant, but there's been plenty of it, especially around the shelters and loud and noisy. But the whole camp was quiet by eight o'clock last night, 8.15. And everybody this morning got up, did their thing, got ready, and you know, went. So. I guess the newness is wearing off and transitioning to the, all right, this is what I'm doing every day and I gotta make sure I'm in optimal shape for it. All right, I'm 10, a little over 10 and a half miles in. It's been a, actually a pretty hard day. The ups and downs weren't bad other than the ups were all steep and I still have another five miles or so to go and uh i think the other thing and it was clear i stopped for lunch at a shelter eight and a half miles in several people were there i think probably were at the same shelter i was at the night before and you know we're all kind of suffering from the heat it's only 70 degrees but compared to what we've been hiking in for the last month it's a big difference and adjustment of the body so drinking a lot of water putting electrolytes in it been through two liters and filled up on uh, another one and three quarter liters at the uh, when I stopped for lunch. Um, back to a, a thought I had a little while ago about maybe things are settling down and in terms of more business like on the trail. I think I can kind of compare it to uh, even though this is by no means a race, but running a race where you're trying to get out front to establish yourself and stay with the pack. It's easier to stay with the pack than to try to catch up to it later. And uh, obviously this is a marathon, not a sprint. So I think myself include, included, a lot of people got off, you know, thinking I have to get to the next shelter because it's gonna be crowded with all the people on the trail. I wanna make sure I get a spot in the shelter if it's bad weather or a good tent site if it's not. And uh, that seems to be thinning out, though I'm not going to say it's not. There's still not a lot of people here, out here, but I don't know what the percentage is, but I know a lot have left the trail that started it. So I think that's making a difference. So you're weeding out a lot of the people that uh, maybe were out here for other purposes or didn't take it seriously. And now they're off the trail trying to go too hard or just not being prepared. Who knows? So I'll reserve judgment for right now. Give me a two or three more nights between now and Irwin. And uh, if the trend continues, then uh, I'll say it's, it's probably changed. So anyway, onward to the shelter. Well, the trail has been like this for the last mile at least. It just needs to keep going. This is uh, slower and more tiring to have to hike up and over and around these rocks. But that's the trail. That's what I'll do. This is a cool part of the trail. Just cutting to the side of these rocks. You don't want to go left. I hope I get up to a view because off to the left is a huge, not even a valley. I think the mountains end. So looking to my west, but you can't see it from here. You're just way out there is flat land. Well, I must be at the tippy top of this mountain or on this ridge. I don't see it going much higher. That's the view I was saying earlier. It's just, 
There goes the land. I can see a range of mountains or hills way out there. Hopefully it doesn't look like rain up ahead. The forecast had rain tonight, but then they took it out. But I can look as to the west. I think I can look back here to the east. About 13 miles in. I'm one mile away from 300 miles for the trip. So this trail was just like this all the way up. And I'm afraid it's probably going to be like this all the way down, so it's slow going. But worth the reward when you get up here. I have to say so far, I want to say this is the hardest part of the trail. Very difficult uh, ups and downs with um, really could be quite dangerous if you're not just super slow and careful. I'm going back up on this side here in a second. But uh, yeah, I compare it to uh, Matt Albert, except Matt Albert was short duration. This one's gone on for two miles at least. And I gotta go downhill still. Not complaining, it's been beautiful, quite the experience. But I'm taking it carefully. That was fun, my pack just barely fit through there. Now, on to more. All right, actually I think this is 300 point, point one, or, or tiny, a little bit over, but Godox had me at 300, 100 yards back or so. Anyway, 300 miles on the trail. And I will have to say, that bald scald or something, I have to get the name of that hill, I just came down that mountain. That was, wow it was hard it was scary it was challenging it was technical especially with a pack on but it was beautiful it was rewarding i'm glad i had a chance to uh to do that they have a uh, a trail that stays along the base of the mountain in bad weather that you can take as an alternate because you're you're exposed up there and there's no running out you're you're just climbing rocks one step at a time and many times stopping and looking for the next step. Oh, I'm glad that's done, but I'm glad I did it. And I will verify the name of that place because I don't want to forget it. To me, the most challenging part on the AT so far. Just thought this was an interesting road. I don't know what comes up that. But not with those trees down. Anyway, Round Knob Road. Trail continues this way. I'm about a mile and a half, four tenths from the shelter, which I am ready to get to. I always seem to have a bit of a surge of energy when I get close to the shelter, kind of like a horse being drawn to water. And uh, I'm keeping up a pretty good pace now that the trail is normal. It's uphill right now, but at least it's a normal path. So looking forward to being there in about uh, 35, 40 minutes. All right, this is the Cherry Cabin Shelter at mile 301.8. I'm just going to sign real quick. And uh, I don't know what shelter I'm going to tomorrow. I'll have to go look at the maps. 6.4 didn't seem far enough. Three campsites, water down the hill, air cables. That's my tent. I'm walking down the trail right now, so it goes past a bunch of tent sites along here. It's hard to find one that's level. I, I did, but uh, it's got a few little roots underneath it that poke up. That's why you bring an air mattress. So I'm happy with it. Nice tent site. Plus I got a big log and a rock I can sit on. These darn black bugs, whatever they are, would go away. These little flies, they, they sit and they bite and they draw blood, but I don't, there's no itch from them. So, note to self, next time in town, I need bug repellent. <laughs>